Hi guys, welcome back to the Shop Made Luna YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also like this video if you end up liking the video before you leave. Um, yeah, today I have a cool video for you guys or what I think would make a cool video. Don't mind my appearance. It is 9 o'clock at night, but I had the sudden urge to design a new sticker sheet right now, and I thought I'd take you guys along with the process just because I think it'd be cool for you guys to see what goes through my mind when I am designing a sheet of stickers um, and also how I do it and things like that. So just to get you guys a little bit familiar with the process and with myself, because um, I know I don't know. It's important to feel like you know who you're buying from. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun. My little dog is crying because he's like, who are you talking to? I want to talk. The sheet that we're going to be working on today is going to be the coffee um, individual sticker sheet. I wanted to do this because I am a big fan of coffee. I don't drink it every day. I try not to. But when I do, I love it so much and it really helped me throughout college in those long nights of completing assignments before the deadline, aka the day after the day before it was due. So I really wanted to pay um, or to honor that experience with some stickers. So I designed a, I actually drew um, a coffee, I don't have the iPad with me, but I drew a coffee icon on my iPad and I added a glitter where the actual like cup holder would be. So a little um, like cup sleeve thing that you hold it so it doesn't burn your hands. Yeah, I put glitter instead of just doing that blank and I also drew a little heart over the center so it looks pretty cute. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. Um, so that part I already did, so I'm not going to be able to show you guys how I drew that, but I mean it's super easy, it's just a bunch of lines all connected together. <coughs> so I'm going to get this file set up and then I'm going to bring you guys on to show you. Alright you guys, so I have started a screen recording because it's easier for me to show you guys what I'm doing this way rather than trying to film it with my camera and it not showing up looking right. So. Here we are. Um, all I did was I created a new document and then I go over here to make sure my um, page, so the registration marks are on. If you've never worked with Silhouette before, then I mean, this video isn't really explaining or trying to teach Silhouette Studio. Um, so I recommend you look up some tutorials about it. But what I just did is um, I turned on my registration marks just so that I know the area that I have um, to work with. That is always something that I do. So I always go all the way up. I don't usually work in millimeters. Um, I usually work with inches, but it's fine. I know I know what I do. <laughs> so this is pretty much the parameters that I work with and they seem to work for me so that's where I'm gonna leave that and then I'm actually gonna go over here to this file which is my um, Aaron, Aaron Condren version of the Parisian winter kit that's up on my shop right now if you're interested go look at it thanks um, but I'm going here because this is where I have the coffee clip art that I use which is this little boy right here so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that and paste it right here. Um, what I'm gonna do now actually is I'm gonna set the parameter uh, for the um, the actual size of the sticker that I'm gonna do. I think I don't know how big I want it to be. I don't want it to be um, and then I'm going to grab my logo and paste it. Oh, great. I grabbed the other thing also. Delete that. I'm going to rotate this bad boy. 
Tiny Terry's? Oh, great. <laughs> All right, there we go, finally. Jeez. Gonna make that smaller. Um, and put that there. Um, do I want those? I think I came to the conclusion that those were kind of too big. So I'm making them a little bit smaller. I think that works, actually. All right, so once I have the size parameters, once I have the size parameters, now I'm gonna choose the actual design. Um, I do want to put in some words, so I might put in some words under there. Although, I think the cut lines might um, overlap, so let me take a little peek. Oh yeah, they do overlap. All right, so now I'm just going to be separating them like this. Um, I already set all these cut lines in the last file, so that's why I don't need to do that over again since I just copied and pasted it. But yeah, I drew these little cups and I love them so much. I was debating on making the cap black or just leaving it as an outline, but I just thought they looked cuter with the black lid. So that's what I did. Um, now I'm going to add some text. Alright, so now that I have all of the text that I want on this sheet, I'm going to highlight them all, get them out of there, and we are going to trace. Perfect. I'm going to do just the outline, and then I'm going to... Do the offset, and this is what your stickers will hopefully look like. I like them to be as together as possible without running into each other. So I think this one is a good mix of that. And now, so now I am changing the lines to white so that I can still see them if I drag them. Um, oh, I don't think that's... Oh, it is. So I don't see them when I switch them to the actual paper, but if I drag it out, I'll be able to see so I can make sure that nothing is interfering. I haven't really thought about what colors I want to do, but I'm just zooming in because it'll be easier. So here are my glitter papers that I have that I have bought <laughs> for purposes of using them in designs so that I can sell them. I think I'm just going to pick one from each colorway. So let's do like this bright yellow. Oh no. Okay. 
Let's see, here's a common issue. I need to send this to the back so that this can work properly. Okay, crap, okay. Perfect. And then I'll send that one back to the back and there you have a yellow glitter. How awesome. Okay, so now I'm just gonna repeat that. So that is how I made these coffee stickers. If you guys like this video, please let me know and I'll make more behind the scenes videos like this. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.